Should you buy Elden Ring in 2024? Absolutely, and here's why. Elden Ring, one of the most popular games of 2022, and the Game of the Year winner is still a must-play in 2024. Despite all of the hype, some folks haven't given it a try yet. Maybe it's too busy, the overworld seems super intimidating, or you're worried about it being too tough. Let's break down why this game deserves your attention and still is a must play in 2024. If you're concerned about the game being too difficult, just relax. Elden Ring offers plenty of ways to make the experience more manageable, especially if you've got a busy life with work, kids, or other responsibilities. You don't need to be a hardcore gamer to enjoy Elden Ring. The game has various tools and strategies that even beginners can use to succeed. You have the option to summon spirits to help you in battles, or you can find powerful weapons early on in the game. There are plenty of ways and paths that you can make your journey a lot smoother when starting off. In my opinion, Elden Ring is an absolute masterpiece. It's a game that could define a generation, inspiring other titles like Lords of the Fallen and Lies of P. What sets Elden Ring apart is its open world design. Unlike the typical open world games from the last decade, Elden Ring lets you explore without holding your hand. Quests and mysteries unfold naturally through dialogue and exploration, creating a genuinely immersive experience. The world feels alive and organic, with every corner offering something new to discover. This approach encourages you to think creatively and explore thoroughly, making each playthrough unique and its own. The game world is stunning and varied. Trailers might make it seem dark and gloomy, but the reality is far more diverse. From the dungeon of Stormvale to the expanse of underworld cities, Elden Ring's world is full of surprises and breathtaking locations. The map is huge and there's even more to discover beneath the surface. The attention to detail in the environments is remarkable, with each area feeling distinct and meticulously crafted. Whether you're traversing through lush forests, desolate wastelands, or eerie ruins, the visuals and atmospheric diversity keeps the experience fresh and engaging. For those worried about the time commitment, remember that Google is your friend. Using online resources can help you navigate the game efficiently. However, for the most authentic experience, I recommend exploring on your own. The sense of discovery is one of Elden Ring's greatest strengths, and finding secrets or overcoming challenges without external help can be incredibly rewarding. That said, the community around this game is top tier and super supportive. I'll leave a link in the description of a subreddit that I used where people were telling me how to get items and the best builds, all types of stuff. Just check it out. The gameplay itself is fantastic. If you played a Souls game before and didn't like it, you might find something here to love. Elden Ring's bonfire system now called Graces ensures you're never too far away from a checkpoint, reducing the frustration of those long tracks from a boss fight after you didn't got your cheeks clapped 1,652 times. The system is a significant quality of life improvement, making the game more accessible without compromising its core challenge. The frequent checkpoints mean that even if you do die, you're quickly back into action, allowing you to learn from your mistakes and improve while minimizing your frustration. Combat in Elden Ring is incredibly satisfying, offering a wide range of weapons and builds. Whether you prefer a melee focused playstyle or a magic based approach, the game accommodates all preferences. The sense of progression is palpable, as even the toughest enemies become manageable with time and practice. Each victory feels hard earned and gratifying, and the game's mechanics encourage experimentation with different strategies and builds. The customization options allow you to tailor your character to your preferred playstyle while making the gameplay experience deeply personal. Boss battles are a highlight with around 165 unique bosses to challenge you. While some late game bosses may feel repetitive, the sheer variety and creativity of these encounters make up for it. Yes, a few bosses can be frustrating, but overall the challenge is rewarding. Each boss is a test to your skills and strategy, offering memorable and thrilling battles that stand out as some of the best moments in the game. The design of these bosses ranges from intimidating giants to agile and cunning adversaries. Each requires a different approach to defeat them. The story, while not front and center, is woven through environmental storytelling and key dialogues. If you're a lore enthusiast, then there's plenty to dive into online. I promise you go look at another YouTube channel because I don't got lore for you, but this game definitely has a bunch. However, if you're looking for a narrative driven experience akin to The Last of Us or Spider-Man 2, this might not be the game for you. The story in Elden Ring is subtle and requires players to piece together the lore from scattered clues and character interactions. This method of storytelling adds to the game's mystique and depth, rewarding those who take the time to explore and uncover its secrets. Character creation is on par with previous FromSoft games. I still can't make a black dude with waves up. You have a myriad of in-game options for skills and gear, which can be used to tailor your experience to your liking. 
The recently released DLC adds more content and excitement, enhancing the already rich world of Elden Ring. The character creation process allows for significant personalization, and the game's RPG elements let you develop your character in various ways. Whether you want to be a nimble rogue, a powerful mage, or resilient warrior, the options are vast and impactful. One thing I don't talk about a lot in games is music. And in Elden Ring, the music just hits. Enhancing the atmosphere, especially during boss battles, I recommend experiencing it firsthand without spoilers to fully appreciate its impact. Definitely wear some headphones. The soundtrack complements the game's grand scale and emotional highs, making every encounter feel significant and memorable from haunting melodies in eerie locations to triumphant anthems in intense battles. So if Elden Ring sounds like your kind of game, don't hesitate. It's a game that will change how you view other titles and give you some of the highest highs you've ever experienced. As one of my homies likes to put it, it's just a phenomenal gaming experience. But don't take my word for it. I'm just a random dude on the internet. Other than that, I'm out. Peace.